Let's talk about the Pac-12 for just a minute. And, of course, John Wilner has written about the most important game in the Pac-12 this week, and it's not in the league. It happens to be in the NFL. Now, the Mercury News, of course, has this article up. It says, Pac-12 survival, Amazon's Thursday night NFL broadcast, could be a peek into the Pac-12's future. It says that the digital media giant is a potential partner for the conference. Now, this is this is a huge game, right? You got a Chiefs game, an exclusive NFL game, only available on Amazon Prime, and the numbers for the NFL so far this season have been mind blowing. I mean, they are massive numbers right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go and pull up. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the NFL Sunday night game, 23.9, or excuse me, 23.29 million. So 23.3 million viewers for the Bucks and the Cowboys. 19 million on Thursday night for over the air television for NBC last week. Uh, and then, of course, your Fox NFL Sunday, 425 p.m. Uh, window, which was nationally, I think it was Green Bay and the Vikings. 18.546 million. You got 17.387 million for the CBS 1 p.m. And then the CBS 4 uh, 30 p.m. is 16.61. I mean, you've got the lowest one was the Fox 1 p.m. slot, and that was over 12 million people watching. So can you get 10 million people to watch an NFL game on a streaming service? What will Amazon's numbers look like? And that's going to be the most important. Uh, because you, I think that we we see how important it is that the Pac-12 is able to get in front of eyeballs. Now, one, there is a responsibility from the Pac-12 commissioner to make sure that you get the most money possible so that your brand can continue to grow, right? That's one thing. You want to make sure that your athletic departments are funded so that they can continue on. The other part is you got to make sure that people can find your games and that people will actually see you because... While football is the front porch of any university, it doesn't help if you are out there somewhere where nobody can find your games. Go talk to CUSA about this. They did a deal with the NFL Network. Nobody watches the games. That's why they continue their deals with ESPN and why some people, the Mountain West, etc., do deals with CBS Sports, etc. Uh, ESPN Plus has not been a plus for teams that don't already have a built-in fan base, right? Does the Pac-12 have enough of a viewership, enough of a fan base in order to bring in somebody like Amazon and still be able to continue that growth, still be able to get out in front of people? Does Amazon actually put you in front of more people? That's a question. How well is Amazon going to promote their product? So you got to find a lot of things out about this NFL game on Thursday night, uh, and, and they need it, right? Because here's our issue. Coming up in week four, USC at Oregon State. What looks to be a battle of two undefeated teams, so long as USC can get through Fresno State, this looks like it's going to be on Pac-12 Network. Nobody has the channel. Like It's absolutely absurd that we keep running into this. Now, part of that is because the main networks, ESPN and Fox, want to save USC for later in the season if they end up in some kind of a playoff hunt. Right? They want them in games that matter more than this one. Uh, against Oregon State, but you're telling me that there's not a storyline here for ESPN2 or ESPN, you know, whatever? Like, why did, Why in the world is Lincoln Riley's first trip to Corvallis against a seemingly undefeated Oregon State team? How is that not going to be on ESPN or Fox or FS1 or ESPN2? How, how in the world are we at this position? It's because of the Pac-12 deals in the past, but man. So John Wilner of course, in this article, talks about the fact that sources have told him that George is focused on digital, which you can see right down here that is, uh, that's highlighted. It says it wasn't a reference to ESPN+. Klyovkov hinted at that possibility during the Pac-12's preseason kickoff event in late July, explaining that a deal with one of the major digital media companies was, quote, highly likely. Now, Amazon, of course, was very interested in the Big Ten rights, but those are built-in fan bases. 
how much of a built-in fan base do you have with the remaining Pac-12 school, Pac schools? What are the 10 schools that are in the Pac-12? How's that? Uh, it says that the comment was vague enough that it could have been taken as a reference to ESPN's digital arm or to, it, to uh, Peacock, which is NBC, or Paramount, CBS, which are the other streaming services. Klyovkov hasn't uttered a public peep about his media strategy since then. But six weeks later, some clarity has emerged. A multi-year partnership with Amazon is under consideration. That's the deal. It says it's smart. Uh, they could get more money relative to their real media value with Amazon, a second source said. And that's the situation. If your media value is not that much, if ESPN and Fox are saying that eh, the Big 12 is actually worth more than you guys, so we'll offer you this much, but we've already spent the majority of our money on these other leagues, so we can't really offer you much, you're going to have to go with somebody else. And Amazon really wants to be in this live sports game, right? They put up a ton of money for the NFL. People are going to go find the NFL game, I would imagine. Will people go find the Pac-12 game? Are there enough people that turn on Amazon Prime Video or that go visit Amazon that will stumble across the game and keep it on? Are there enough of those that will actually do that to make the deal worth it, both for the Pac-12 and for Amazon? I'm very curious what the numbers will end up looking like for this because it's majorly important that the Pac-12 finds a way to stay financially relevant with all the different moves that are being made in realignment, for sure. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.